In this video, we will look at how you can teach with Nearpod's drag and drop activity and how you can access reports to review student learning. First, launch the lesson and invite your students to join. The drag and drop activity will work the same in both the live and the student paced mode. When the students join the lesson, they'll see the draggable objects on the left side of the screen. They can click and drag the objects to place them onto the background. As they're placing the items onto the screen, the teacher will see a thumbnail for each student so they can check on their progress. Click on the thumbnail to look at it in more detail. The students can drag a single copy of each item or also drag multiple copies of the same item. If the student wants to move an object that they've already placed on the screen, they can simply click it and drag it to a new location or click on the trash can to delete that from the screen. Once the student has completed the activity, they can click on the submit button to send it over to the teacher. The text drag and drop activity will work in the same way. The students will see the text objects on the left side of the screen, and they can click and drag those objects onto the background. And the teacher can see their progress by clicking on the thumbnail to look at it in greater detail. Once a student submits their work, the teacher has the option to share that work with the entire class by opening up the thumbnail and clicking on Share with Class. Now every student in the class will see that student's work anonymously on their screen, and the teacher can use that to facilitate further instruction or discussion. Once the lesson is complete, the teacher can review student responses in the Reports tab. Select the activity, and click on the drag and drop tab to review the student responses for the drag and drop activity. A class board will appear where you can click on individual student work and see how they completed the activity. That's how you teach with the drag and drop activity and access the results in the reports. Happy learning.